Hello Zion Lutheran Church, welcome to our daily devotion here on this Tuesday where we look at our Old Testament reading for the week. So um, we're using our morning version again of our daily prayer, so let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So our reading for today comes from Proverbs chapter 4, verses 10 through 23. Hear, my son, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered. If you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they've done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of the wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. My son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them with your heart. For they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So here in Proverbs chapter 4, wonderful passage that we have that speaks about the acceptance of the word of God. So um, the author of the Proverbs here is pleading to, um, to those of his children, um, including us, children by faith, that we may um, hear the words, believe the words, follow the words that the Lord proclaims to us. And by doing so, that our life is preserved, that our life is sanctified um, and ultimately brought into heaven. Now, um, we hear this word of God and it flows with the wisdom that comes. Wisdom, um, the beginning of wisdom of which is, is the fear of the Lord. And so we hear of God's word and as we do so, um, that guards us against the ways of the wicked. And this is really going to be one of the themes of the highlights um, for this week. We're going to see this tomorrow in our daily devotion as well, looking at Galatians chapter 5 and the fruits of the Spirit, that we avoid doing what's evil and um, we practice doing what is good. So we avoid the, the vices and um, we work towards the virtues of Christianity. And so... Um, we see what that is, and ultimately that comes, um, again, through faith in Christ, and it, it comes in Christ himself. Like the Christ is the one who perfectly avoids the evil. He's the one who perfectly does the good. And he does so for our sake, so that through faith in him, that we might be saved, and through strength, and, um, and, and, and through this, um, the grace of God, that when then we are enabled to, to fight against those desires of the sinful flesh and to focus on what is good, what is true, what is beautiful, what the Lord has blessed us with and the wisdom that comes from his word. So be attentive to the word of God. This is really as well all wrapped up in with the third commandment of remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy that um, we gladly hear it and learn the word of God for from that word the spirit works life, forgiveness, and salvation. So Let's, um, let's hear the word and speak the word of God now at this time as we approach our Lord in our prayers. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, keep your church with your perpetual mercy, and because of our frailty, we cannot but fall. Keep us ever by your help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Now I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.